to keep 3D prints looking sharp, we need to ensure we look after our raw filament spools by keeping them dry and moisture free. The best way to do this is by using a filament dryer which draws out moisture as well as then implementing an airtight filament storage system. Thankfully, iBoss have us covered with such a solution, the iBoss Cyclops. There's no special packaging with this system, so we get straight to the unit itself, which looks impressive upon initial inspection. As you may have guessed from the size, this is a twin spool system designed to hold two spools simultaneously, or a single higher capacity spool should you prefer. With an almost entire plastic construction, the concept here is rather simple. On the bottom of the unit, we find a central fan, so some fan noise will be heard here, although it'll most likely be quieter than the 3D printer that runs alongside it, so not really an issue. Otherwise, we have some rather tall feet that hold the unit up and away from the desk surface, providing the fan ample space to draw air in and through the unit. Right side up and sticking with the center, we have vents that cover the heating element that can be seen inside. So in essence, all that's happening here is the fan underneath is drawing air in, which passes by the heating element, hence heating the air and pushing it through these top vents. With the clear plastic lid securely on top, which just sits in position without any locking mechanism, the chamber now heats up. Bear in mind, with the lid in place, we do have several venting holes acting as an exhaust in the top, along with several holes dotted around the top, front and rear of the lid for filament to pass through and to the 3D printer, which we'll come back to shortly. So note that this isn't a completely airtight sealed unit. Going back to the filament though, the package includes spool holders with bearings that sit in the grooves on both sides of the tray, front and rear and now providing the ability to place a plastic spool on top, which spins freely. The package also includes some PTFE Teflon tubing that can be inserted into one of the various rubber lined holes for the filament to make its way towards the 3D printer. So this isn't only a solution to dry filament before printing, but also a method of keeping that filament dry throughout a lengthy printing session too. Rubber o-rings can be adjusted should you wish to use one larger spool in the center as well, ensuring the spool doesn't move from side to side as it unwinds. Saying that, swapping filaments can be a little frustrating though, considering it means winding the current spool back, then getting your hand in to feed new filament through the tube. Nevertheless, using the system is fortunately a very straightforward affair. Pressing the power button will bring the entire unit to life, where a press of the time button will provide the ability to set the timer for the filament drying process, or if it's being used during a long print, scroll above 24 hours and the four dots here will indicate the unit will operate indefinitely. It's a similar affair when setting temperature. Press the button, select your desired temperature, and press the temp button again to accept. Simple. On the front is a humidity sensor which can be removed and switched on via the tiny button on the rear. Note the second button which seems to switch temperature settings seems to be missing on my unit here. Not sure if that's intentional or not, but nevertheless once it slides back into place it is quite handy, displaying the current humidity level in the central chamber. There's one issue to be aware of though, which could be a deal breaker for some. As the hot air exhaust is directly beneath the filament spools, that hot air is being blown directly onto the bottom of the spool, meaning the plastic at the bottom starts to become softer than the top, to the extent where some plastic strands can start to sag with loosely wound spools. That's potentially a big issue when it comes to 3D printing. Ideally, these hot air vents need to exhaust air around the sides, that way we heat the chamber more evenly without blowing directly on the plastic spool itself. Saying that, while printing, the system works fine, considering the spool is continually moving and spinning, hence being heated more evenly. Even so, if you're looking at this as a purely drying solution prior to printing, then unfortunately some self-customization of this design may be necessary. When it comes to storing filament outside of the dryer, iBoss have you covered there too with the Euros storage solution. Again, no special packaging here, but in essence this small device is a mini vacuum used alongside specific resealable storage bags. The Euros itself is a small portable device with a threaded collar at one end and its power cable at the other, which has a USB plug at the end for power, meaning it can be used easily with a small power bank for instance, 
and a single power button in the middle for switching the unit on and off. The procedure itself is a simple one. Place the filament spool inside the resealable bag. I like to throw in a desiccant pack too. Use a supplied clip to create an airtight seal. After which we can release the cap to the built-in suction valve. Screw on the vacuum pump to the top, easy thanks to that threaded collar. And with the USB connected to power, press the power button to begin sucking the air out of the bag. Now the vacuum does make some noise, but does a perfectly good job of drawing out all of the air in the bag, ensuring the filament stays completely sealed in an airtight wrap. This vacuuming process does take a minute or two, I've sped it up in the example you see here, but once complete we can proceed to unscrew the vacuum pump, and then place the protecting cap back on top, with the filament now ready to be placed in storage, ready for when you next need it. All in all, the filament drying and storage system by iBoss works great. The Cyclops dryer works perfectly well, when used while printing and with the spool moving that is. It's not something I'd be happy using with a static spool though, not without some customization and tweaking, due to the hot air blowing directly onto the plastic on one side rather than evenly across the chamber. Saying that, the Euros vacuum and resealing bags work great. I've been using these for several weeks now and each bag has worked perfectly well in maintaining that airtight seal. No issues there at all. A good overall solution by iBoss, although with the Cyclops dryer needing a little more development depending upon how it's used. 